Have you ever tried to tell a joke to an animal? I've done this before. I mean, I, I got nothing going on. Anyway, this is Brain Stuff, and here's today's question. Can animals laugh? There are many different types of laughter in general. We've got a great What the Stuff video on it, and again, generally speaking, these types of laughter fall into two broad categories. There's complex social laughter. We have to know the context or have a sense of humor to get the joke, and then there's laughter in response to physical stimulation like tickling. And some animals, such as primates, seem to have a legit sense of humor, meaning they can respond to situations with a pant that sounds eerily similar to laughter. And you can read numerous stories about animals like Coco the gorilla allegedly making jokes in sign language and so on. Additionally, when adult animals like dolphins or ravens play pranks, they're indicating an understanding of humor, or at least of trolling. And is trolling humor is a different video, right? But laughter itself seems more common than humans had originally thought. Rats have been laughing their furry little keisters off since the dawn of recorded history, but we only figured this out a few years back. It turns out that rats like being tickled. And when they're tickled, they chirp at a range too high for human ears to pick up, around 50 kilohertz. We know this thanks to the work of Jack Panksepp and Jeffrey Bergdorf, beginning in the late 90s at Bowling Green State University. And if we're talking about that second category of laughter, a positive vocalization associated with touch, then the comedy floodgates have just swung wide open. Dr. Marina Davila Ross, a psychologist at the University of Portsmouth, has been studying the evolution of laughter for years. Dr. Davila Ross has been gathering as much data as possible about the reactions various animals have to being tickled. The list of animals that make a vocal reaction when tickled includes stuff like meerkats, dolphins, camels, dogs, owls, penguins, and more. Uh, but based on some of my earlier experiments, cats don't dig it, so. So what's the explanation? According to Michael Oren, an associate professor of psychology and neuroscience from Georgia State, the case may be simple, at least when applied to mammals. It just means that there's a pleasant feeling evoked by touching. Laughter, it seems, may well be millions of years old and existed before human beings, which means that when we think about it, we're sort of the last people to get the joke. And to be fair, most scientists aren't calling this straight out laughter. Instead, they're suggesting that these are positive vocalizations, or as Dr. Davila Ross writes, expressions of joy. And when we ask whether laughter is a sign of intelligence, Dr. Panksepp notes that intelligence is not a requirement for laughter. Instead, he suggests, maybe play in any species can increase social intelligence. If you wanna get more information about laughter in primates, people, other animals, or just read one heck of a fascinating book, then allow me to recommend The Humor Code by Peter McGraw and Joel Warner. Thanks for watching. And I have to ask, what's your best one-liner joke? Whether you tell it to an animal or a person. I'd love to read them in the comments and I'll chime in below if I think of anything. In the meantime, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more brain stuff. Oh, you know what? And I just thought about this. Uh, all those times when we hear a comedian bombing, you know, making a joke and there's silence except for crickets. What if those crickets are actually cracking up.